Hi everyone, this is Sandy with Sandy's Crafty Creations and today I'm going to share a little prototype book box that I created and mini album and uh, this is made out of some of the papers from last year and probably a few years before that, some of my Halloween stash and this will be my project for the my second annual 13 Frights Before Halloween and instead of a project, different project every day, I'm going to be working on a book box and mini album for 13 days and sharing the videos and you can follow along. So all I have to do now is decide on what papers I'm going to use on the one that I'm going to showcase in October. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll share that on my blog, what papers I decide on. It may be a collection that I still have from last year or it may be a new collection from this year. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, I'm going to show you today what it looks like. This is uh, the prototype. It's all decorated and finished. And the one that I will create for you in October that you can follow along and make along with the tutorial uh, will be a different uh, Halloween papers. Okay, so this is my little book box. It's, uh, I made this. It is not a pre-made one. I made this one because I wanted the curved spine. If you can see the little space in there. And so this is really cute. It's... Uh, the size of a book, I would say a normal library book or something. So this one is eight inches tall and with the rounded spine about six and a half wide. And it just lifts up and the edges of this paper is scored to look like little pages because you can see that. And then this opens up and then inside I have a little mini album that I designed to fit in there. So this is Happy Halloween and I just use ribbon to tie it. And I can't give you the paper names because I used an assortment of different papers from last year's and a few years before and some different embellishments. But it opens up like this and on the inside cover and I'm going to call this a, um, a fun flip flap book, I guess you would say. And I use scraps of paper to create different size pages and pockets. So that's what makes this a little bit different for Halloween. On this side, out of the printed paper, I made three little flip pockets. So each one of these is a pocket here with a tag, but they each flip up. So that just gives it a little fun element that way. Whoops, this tag it slid out like that. Then the first page I just decorated with a little scene with some tombstone cutouts and a little haunted house. And this page just flips over this way. And then I added this punch out from Martha Stewart for some cobwebs. And this is where you see the different size flaps based on some of the scraps of chip uh, cardstock that I had. So this one is like this. This little tag just hangs on this ribbon belly band. And this flips up and then this flips out with a magnet. And then I have this little tag page flip up here with the journeying place. And this is made from um, some cut, uh, punch outs. So my next one that I make probably won't have these unless I do it with my uh, big shot or something like that. But this just turned out really cute because I could uh, attach a hinge to them. They were this size already. And then I just added them into these pages. And then when we turn this one, this is a little booklet in this belly band and it just folds out for different little photos and things and folds down and slides underneath. I can get that under there real quick without taking up too much time. This was a, another magnet piece and this folds out like that. And then we have this one where I added the chipboard. And this one has a pocket here at the top. Now I haven't made my tag yet, I don't think, for that. No, I haven't made a tag in here, so I need to make a tag for that. And then this creates a little tab here on the side. And this is another one of those little cut-aparts that was punch-outs that I had. This I pieced and added the bat, and here's another, uh, oh this is different, I, I used a little black paper bag, and then I made a flap here, this is the center of the bag, and then the this part is the pocket, this is the open end of the bag. So you can just add in different little things to uh, make this unique. Uh, from this cut apart, this is the way they are, I added some paper here and made it to go in the pocket where this part sticks out. The same as this one, I just added the little paper on the bottom. So I made this a topper. And this flips up. And there's some more of another tag page here. 
And this I made a pocket in one of the cut apart, so this all pulls out. And then a uh, place for a photo here. And then on the back side we have this magnet piece that is also attached by brass, so it lifts up and swings out. And then different sized flaps, instead of them all being the same, they're each a different size. So that kind of is fun for a Halloween little project. And so that's this little mini album that goes in this. And again, this will be, I will make another one and you will be able to follow along for the 13 frights before Halloween. So that'll be starting in October. So it's the 13 days prior to Halloween. I haven't looked at the calendar yet to see when that will be starting, but I'll put that on my blog and uh, I'll have a badge on the sideboard to remind you that we're going to have that going on and that'll be a lot of fun and I hope that you can join me in October for my second annual 13 Frights Before Halloween.